Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Don't eat coconut oil. At least not a large amount of it anyway. So over the last couple of days, I've been I've noticed a few things about coconut oil. First of all, was a video by a guy called Adam Stevens, who got a company called Intelligent Eating. Just check it out. And he was saying how bad it was for you. Then I was in my car this morning, I was listening to a podcast, randomly popped up coconut oil, saying how good it was for you. Then another podcast later on, um, about coconut oil saying again how bad it was for you. So I thought, let's just do a quick fact of the day on this because that's a, the trifecta, Every, everything's just coming together for the coconut oil fact of the day, so here it is. So the American Heart Association did a huge report, a presidential advisory report, talking about how if you replace a saturated fats, if you replace saturated fats with um, vegetable oil, then it can re reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease by up to 30%. So, so let me, let's talk through different types of fats. You've got saturated fats. Saturated fats um, lead to the production of LDL cholesterol or bad cholesterol, if you like. Polyunsaturated fats. And polyunsaturated fats are things like omega-6 and omega-3. So, you know, when it says high in omega-6 and omega-3, those are all good. Those are the good ones. And the saturated are the bad ones, if you like. But increase in saturated fats in your diet has been significantly linked to an increased risk of hardening of the arteries, atherosclerosis, um, strokes, heart attacks, heart disease, cardiovascular disease, all of these things have been linked to increased levels of saturated fats. And the difference when you when they swapped out saturated fats to vegetable oils was the same as if you took statins to reduce the um, risk of, of cardiovascular disease, which is massive. So then I then just looked at different fats and oils and how much saturated fat and how much polyunsaturated fat, yay, was in them. So here they are. So lard has got 39 grams of saturated fat and 11 grams of polyunsaturated fat. This is per 100 grams. Butter, 51 grams of saturated fat and 3 grams of polyunsaturated fat. Olive oil, 14 grams of saturated fat and 11 grams of polyunsaturated fat. Sesame seed oil, love this one, 14 grams of saturated fat and 42 grams of polyunsaturated fat, the omega-6 and omega-3s, yay. Palm kernel oil, 82 grams of saturated fat and only 1.6 grams of polyunsaturated fat. And then coconut oil, one that everybody's talking about, these are just a prox, 87 grams of saturated fat per 100 grams. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. And 1.8 grams of polyunsaturated fat. So that's why so many people are kicking off saying, even though there's this big fad about how everybody having coconut oil and coconut oil is so good for you and it's really good for you and everybody loves it because it's from coconuts and coconuts are really nice. And But the oil, the oil, not good. Okay, 87, like 82 to 87 grams of saturated fat. That's really, really, really bad for you. Doesn't mean you can't have any, but you can you can have some, but just not excessive amounts. I know people that would just eat the coconut. Oh, it's so good for you just to have a spoonful after spoonful after spoonful. I think the advised amount is about 12, um, 12 grams of saturated fat over the entire day from everything you get, from absolutely everything you get, everything you get over the entire day. So that gives you an idea of how little you need to have on a daily basis. So if you take anything from this, take away the fact that you just need to moderate, look, check what you're eating, check what is in what you're eating and check how good it is for you. Do some research because if a new fad comes around and everybody says, oh, you should all have this, do your own research, don't just jump on the bandwagon, do your own research, check, check it out for yourself. Um, it may not be as good as it seems to be. Still, people love coconut oil on the like, skin or in the hair and all that kind of stuff. As far as I can tell, there's not an issue with that. If you like it because it gives you a little shine or or it makes you feel better, for whatever reason, go for it. But just don't eat it, don't put it inside your body, okay? If you enjoyed this, please hit like, please hit subscribe. That's it from me. See you later, love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Classic.